So this is my dad, Roberto Escobar. He's gonna be cooking lomito saltado for us. A Peruvian specialty. He's Peruvian. To make the rice first, we're gonna get two cups of rice. It's, a, uh, it's better to use the enriched rice, the long rice, which is probably the best thing. Did you just read that and say it's better to use it? No, no. Uh, How come you don't have a rice cooker? Because this is the best way to cook rice. I will boil this powdered garlic. So it's good to have. Oh my gosh, no, that's, that's not good. That's not good. That's, not, that's not much. I'm gonna mix it a little bit. And personally, I like to add a little bit of butter. This time I'm gonna use the country crock because of my grandson that can I have a dairy product. Leave it like that. Instead of frying the french fries, I like bacon. I'm putting some steak fries, which are very good. Spread them around. And then I'll put it in the oven at 425. What vegetables do we need for lomito saltado? For lomito saltado, we need three tomatoes, small tomatoes, and two big onions. By the way, we're using two strips of uh, sirloin, and the meat, before it's cooked, it has to be at room temperature. I'm gonna take some of the uh, fat. We're gonna need that. I slice it on an angle. This is very, very uh, good steak. How do you learn to make uh, lomito saltado? Uh, I've watched your mom. She told us how to, uh, what goes first, what goes second. And it just takes a little while, but once, once uh, you've done it a few times, it's just easy. Onions. Onions don't have to be very thin, so I, I will, they'll be thick cuts. That is what is best for lomito. I will cut it in three long. That's a professional cut tomato? Professional. What kind of tomatoes are these, Dad? This, uh, uh, Heidi. Small tomatoes. This is a hard tomato, which I like. They are not the. <laughs> These are called plum tomatoes. Plum tomatoes. <laughs> the rest of the other chefs only like to eat the spread it. and then I keep it. Like sea salt is, is better than regular salt. More flavorful, and a little bit of black pepper. I have put a little bit of um, oil before it's cooked in, but you can cook it in the same, same frying pan that you use for the meat. How many years you made Lomito? Uh, about two days. No, uh, <laughs> uh, I've been making Lomito for probably 25 years. I'll get the meat in before I put the tomato. Tomatoes will go at the end. So I'm gonna mix this. Who makes the best lomito? Besides me, I don't know who the second is. Now I put the tomatoes in. Also, many people in Peru and uh, when they make lomito, they use soy sauce. Lomito is a is a fusion. It, it originated probably from China, and and what it did is when it arrived in Peru, they they. This is, they used the wok, they made it Peruvian style, they added the onions and all the things and they call it lomito, but it's very much a very like an Asian uh, dish. 
So I use a little bit of this, and this is what I made for room your family. As you can see, it's nice. Very, very, oh, this rice is perfect. You can see, every time, everything is, is, oh, it looks good, it smells delicious. It smells better. Delicious. This is a very simple dish. Very, very simple. Success. Success. Now we have to taste it.